the ground IV, Butch Wilmore, an experienced spacewalker himself, will be communicating to the two astronauts uh, that will be spacewalking outside the station to uh, switch out some spare components of the space station's cooling system, also switching out, uh, installing a camera, and uh, switching out a communications unit throughout today's six and a half hour excursion. He's there on the left in the black shirt with the gold tie sitting next to Mark Reed in the Capcom, who will be communicating on the inside. The handover, we are showing point five. What do you see? So you're seeing the uh, thermal cover there of the uh, airlock, the some of the sun shining off of the uh, last bits of the Earth as we cross into the Terminator line into an orbital darkness. We're uh, just over seven minutes into our spacewalk. Uh, official start time was 6.39 a.m. Central Time. Just reading through some procedures. Like I said, the sun's about to set. You are go to egress the airlock uh, there, Drew, and start working on the tether config. That much, and just to confirm, I'm showing a 7 meter P of 2.8 on the DC. I'm going to show you, yeah, if you can get a hand on it and touch, push it there. Okay, well, I'm going to walk over this way, and if you go ahead and get a hand on it. Just over uh, 12 minutes into, ta into, into today's spacewalk, both of our astronauts are outside the hatch. You can see their lights. Uh, they were just doing a check of each other's equipment, make sure their uh, lights were on and no ice was coming from their suits. Everything's looking good so far. You can see the sun is setting over the uh, Earth uh, just there in the background. We're entering an orbital nighttime, the International Space Station, uh, 255 statute miles over the Indian Ocean, just about uh, to cross over uh, northwestern Australia. Australia and then over Indonesia after that. They'll start the beginning uh, stretch of their spacewalk in an orbital nighttime. You're seeing the helmet camera view from Ricky Arnold. He's EV2 uh, speaking with Butch Wilmore, the ground IV here on the ground, just uh, reading up the procedures to him. There's a lot for Arnold to do right now to get into a good position for the tasks ahead. Right now he has his uh, crew equipment bag, his equipment lock bag that has all of his tools that he needs. Uh, eventually uh, Drew Arnold is going to, or Drew Foistel is going to meet Arnold uh, at the work site where Arnold is right now and both of them are going to work on swapping out the locations of what's called a pump flow control subassembly. Arnold is busy, he's just sort of getting his work site ready. He's got his crew equipment bag ready so when uh, Foistel brings him the foot restraint he can enter the foot restraint and reach uh, the crew lock bag. In the meantime, he's also uh, installing something called a ball stack. That is where the other pump flow control subassembly will be temporarily placed so they can get them both next to each other to swap out uh, later today. Right, looking good. When you get that uh, gap spanner installed, you'll be removing the slack as much as you can and, and where you can rotate that buckle 90 degrees. I'll leave that to Ricky. Thank you. Butch, I am back. Uh, I've got the jumper ready to me. The cap is right tied, and I'm ready for your next. Okay, before that, I uh, just want to make sure what stanchions y'all wind up putting that uh, gap spanner on so we can track it. All right, Ricky, we'll take a glove and a half jack from you. Okay, half dry. Changes in the gloves. Hey, Butch, I have the scoop on the mini workstation with the red on it. All right, Super Ricky. It looks like Drew is almost finished with that wire tie, so uh, it looks like here in a second you can transfer the other scoop to him. Okay, thanks. Wire tie is complete. Foistel counting the turns as he moves the uh, pistol grip tool counterclockwise, demating the uh, pump flow control assemblies from the uh, current temporary platform, looking for about 19 turns before he can successfully uh, release it from its temp platform and hand it over uh, to its new temporary location. 19. 19. I see unlock just about. Uh... All right, guys, uh, as we shepherd this TFCS box back to the work site, you're going to be installing it on that uh, ball stack. We want to make sure that, of course, we keep ready to it. It's your discretion on who has the ret on the box. We just don't want to make sure we st uh, stretch a ret out to full extension. 
do that. You move back a and little bit. Huh? Yep. And Butch, I'm, I got a good visual inspection of the backside right now, and everything looks great on the uh, H1, H2. Yeah, we see it in your WVS as well. Thank you. Again, inside the space station, Scott Tingle at the controls of the station's robotic arm. You're hearing the voice of Norishige Kanai, who is assisting Tingle in moving the station's robotic arm into place, uh, right next to Ricky Arnold, who's carrying with him a portable foot restraint. In the background, you can see the Earth. We're currently 252 statute miles uh, just above the Pacific Ocean, just west off the coast of Ecuador, about to cross uh, west off the coast of Peru and Lima. Three, two, one, let's stop there. And let me see, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to reach through this handoff. Where do you uh, envision Drew being for the handoff here? Right up on that handrail? Where the bag is? You're going to be nadir of the stanchion towards the lab. Okay, copy this. From this view, you can see both of our spacewalkers today in the foreground with the red stripes is Drew Foistel. He's EV-1 for today's spacewalk. In the background, you can see his feet poking out of the top there. That's uh, He's in the suit with the, with no stripes, just the white suit. That's uh, Ricky Arnold. Both of them on the final set of their get-ahead tasks. Of the S-1 FHRC. Ricky, you may see it, but also uh, before Drew comes out of there, you might want to pull his uh, tether pack. He's got it between his legs there. Help him get that out. In here. You know, I've still got mine. Okay, so my waist tether is closed and locked on Ricky's green anchor hook. Okay, we copy hook. that. Copy that, Butch. Hey, affirmative. We copy. Okay, and I'm going to get my anchor hook. On my station. Okay, I've got my ink cook as well. 